So last week Huawei introduced its new P series line and the conversation kind of shifted from it being uh, guys this is way too expensive to more of a hey guys you want my kidney sort of conversation. It might actually be a smartphone that got a lot of buzz around it more than any other smartphone that was launched this year. It got its fair share of publicity when it came to it being compared to the iPhone X. I mean, apart from them comparing their phone with the iPhone X during their whole launch. You know, P20, the same size 5.8 inch phone, but you see the more largest screen, you can see that. In more narrow battle, more compact design. Help you to see more, use more. And also we minimize the notch. You know the notch, uh, it's a minimize the notch, not only makes it more beautiful, but more useful. You not miss all the notifications with the small notch. It's slim, la slim design, but a large battery. No compromise on battery. 25% more battery than the other flagship phones. It will help you to longer battery life, but um, slimmer than all the others. You can see that. It's much bigger. 22 uh, times uh, percent larger than Galaxy S9 Plus, and 61% larger than iPhone 10. You can see that uh, in the dark area, how the detail we can see. More detail we can see compared with others. Best smartphone camera ever. You know the DxO Mark. The benchmark test is the industry criteria for the highest the high light sensitivity. We achieve the highest light sensitivity. You know the other phones only can achieve 6,400. You know the indoor against light maybe the most difficult to take scenario. And you see, see this girl's you can her face and all the background. You can see this true wide studio. Yeah, this is free bus, Huawei free bus. We are using in-ear design for better noise isolation. It also has some traits that were popular with the iPhone X, which is the notch and the camera placement. They kind of share these features. Anyway, these devices that we're talking about are the P20 and the P20 Pro. Rest in peace, the Plus, welcome Pro. Now they're saying Pro because the Pro comes with an extra camera. Just looking at the cameras for a bit here, the P20 comes with a dual camera setup, which is in a horizontal fashion. Now this setup means that the P20 has a 12 megapixel color sensor and a 20 megapixel monochrome sensor. The same sort of setup that we had with the Mate 10 series, the Mate 10 and the Mate 10 Pro and the Mate 10 Porsche design. But with the P20 Pro now you have an 8 megapixel, a 20 megapixel and a 40 megapixel giving a total of 68 megapixels on that phone. So the 8 megapixel is for telephoto capabilities which means you can have three times optical zoom, five times hybrid zoom, or 10 times digital zoom. The more interesting part about this camera setup is what they're calling AIS. So this means that the phone will stabilize an image using AI. Now, the biggest feature that's gonna be benefiting from this technology is taking long exposure shots, low light shots in your hand. Now previously for you to get like really clear crisp looking images in low light conditions with long exposure you needed a tripod. Otherwise your hand would move about and it will make everything look all blurry. But with artificial intelligent stabilization, they are trying to fix this and make sure that you'll be able to take just as great photos with the phone in your hand, no matter how jiggly or wobbly your hand is. Let's talk about the notch for a minute. Now the notch is here to stay whether you like it or not and symmetry wise it still looks a bit awkward for me personally. But that is how it was with the jack as well. I mean if you were to check out the jack it was scraped off from Le Echo was the first to scrape it off followed by Apple and a whole lot of other guys started scraping off the jack. Now as much as we cried foul about that 
you will get to notice that the jack was sacrificed so that we could progress in wireless audio technology which is okay because a wireless life is fun yo the same thing is what's happening with the notch for a future of an all screen phone where your device is just all screen there has to be some awkward designs that are gonna have to grace us whilst we take that journey towards an all screen phone and those designs sadly for now include the notch but check look at it from this point of view so with the notch you're taking all that stuff that you get on that notification bar you're pushing it up to the top bezel of the phone therefore giving you an extra 0.2 inches of screen that you can use for more useful stuff more functional stuff that you want to do maybe a full screen wallpaper or something so we can look at it from that point of view and say hey man the notch is okay anyway back to the Huawei so the P20 and the P20 Pro are not the only devices that were announced there was also announced a Porsche design variant of this line of devices this device was the Porsche design Mate RS. It's coming with a lavish 512 gigabytes of internal storage and two fingerprint scanners. One that's under the display and another one that's at the back of the phone. So you can choose whichever you want to use which time you ever want to use it. There is also the biggest highlight when it came to this phone which is the 2K high resolution display which is six inches and an AMOLED and most importantly has no notch. It's perfect symmetry. But true to Huawei's nature, since the Mate 10 line, they're not gonna make the buying choices of this phone really easy and here is why. So starting off with the P20, the P20 kicks off at a cool 800 bucks, which makes it cheaper than the P20 Pro and the Mate RS Porsche design. Uh, but however, what's not going for it is it only has two cameras compared to three that all the others have. It has a 12 megapixel and a 20 megapixel. The display is kind of smaller, so you get a 5.8 inch display. Uh, the display is an LCD panel as well, which is not cool for, for the battery. Speaking of battery, it has a smaller 3400 milliampere battery. The display has a notch. There's no water resistance on this one and it's only 1080p. Moving over to the P20 Pro. This one comes with a bigger battery, a 4000 milliampere one. The display is bigger as well. It's a 6.1 inch display. It's an AMOLED panel. It comes with water resistance, IP67. It comes with three cameras, an eight megapixel, a 20 megapixel, and a 40 megapixel camera. The display, however, is 1080p, and it has a notch. And the P20 Pro is retailing for an eye-watering 1,100 US dollars. Moving on to the Mate RS, it still maintains that big 4000 milliampere battery. The display is a 6 inch Quad HD panel, which is AMOLED with no notch. How about that? It has two fingerprint scanners. One is at the back of the phone, below the cameras. The other one is at the front of the phone, underneath the display. It comes with a 512 gigabyte version. It has center aligned cameras aesthetics however you cannot replace the on-screen navigation keys with the fingerprint with fingerprint gestures so if you were to look at the p20 and the p20 pro they have a front mounted fingerprint that's below the display so this fingerprint has a feature that allows you to use some gestures and replace the navigation keys on the screen so main motivation for this would be i want to use all my screen i don't want part of it to be reserved for navigation key so I'll move that to some gestures on the fingerprint. You can't have that on the Mate RS Porsche design because there is no front mounted fingerprint. The one that's under the display cannot work for that. But the biggest one that's putting a dent on the Mate RS, I know money is no object if you are going for the Mate RS but lord the price! $2,100 for the 256 gigabyte version and $2,600 for the 512 gigabyte version. I don't know, who's thinking of buying a Huawei for their next smartphone upgrade? 
Anyways, this has been Edwin. This has been my views on the P20 and Mate RS. If you like this video, click like, hit subscribe, hit the bell button on the bottom if you want to get these videos as they come. I'll see you around.